Okay, so we now take care about uh, the other two smaller knobs. So create another polygon cylinder here. Rotate that guy 90 degrees and Z. And then we want to rotate that guy um, something like negative. Or right, let me undo that. And let's do something else. So bring it first into position here. Um, and bring it bring it into the position so let me unhide all of the rest here so move this guy in Y and then middle mouse over this vertex here and snap it and now let's uh, group this guy hit control G so we have um, the pivot here in the center of the grid and then let's uh, rotate that guy in Y negative 28 degrees negative 28 and now let's uh, go to the top view and check that out. And that should sit right in the center of where it should be. Okay, so now with that object selected, we can go in and say, okay, um, back to the top view here, and we have to scale that guy in, move it, and make sure that your move uh, tool is here set to object. And let's, yeah, let's scale that guy up. Uh, something like that <clears throat> and then we insert some edge loops here so uh, control right click but I'm pretty sure right now if you follow me all the time you know what I'm doing here and if not just watch the other videos um, okay so let's uh, scale that somewhere into position here I would say something like like this here and then we again select um, select the face loop here. Go to face mode, shift select, or sh shift and double click. And let's um, again extrude that. And again say keep faces together off under the inputs. Type in zero under that input. <coughs> Okay, Houston, we've got a problem, and that's because we rotated that um, that group. So let's try something. Um, let's try something. Uh, okay, with the scale tool. Let's go to local. No, that's not working. Okay, so let me go. Let me undo the ex extrusion. And now let's uh, hit the up arrow key uh, so that you are going to the uh, group and let's uh, rotate that back in white zero. And then uh, just uh, select that uh, guy, move it out. So that's what we can do later on. But for the extrusion, um, it's going to be a problem if that thing is rotated. I'm pretty sure there is a way to go around that, but I don't want to take care about that here during the video. So let me move those up here and let's uh, do the same step here. Keep faces together off by type in a zero and then scale those in like we did with the, uh, with the first knob, somewhere about here. And let's move those down and let's move those in somewhere about here. And again, let's uh, select some edges or one edge here. Control, right click, edge ring utilities, uh, split, set it from relative to multi, and sc um, scale with those selected, scale those out so that they come closer to the, the end here. Let's hit a three to check that out. Okay, so. Yeah, just um, I'm going with those. Um, what we need to do now is um, let me first uh, bring this guy back into its position. So after the extrusion in this um, on the on those are done, let me hit the up arrow key to go to the group, and then rotate that back in Y negative twenty. 8 and, z and y, negative 
negative 28 and y, negative 28, like that. Let me turn off the the layer with uh, turn on the layer with that main case and bring it into its position. So go to the top view, check that out. Okay, so I think what we could do is uh, select. Let me take the lasso tool and go to vertex mode and select some verts here. And let's move those out a little bit, make it a little bit, little bit wider, somewhere about here. And now it's only a matter of um, extrusion and stuff like that. So let's select all of those verts here on the end and move those in, bring them closer to where we want them somewhere about here. And then we select, take my uh, paint selection tool, go to face mode, and I select all of those faces here. And then say extrude. Do the extrusion just right there. And then say hit G to extrude one more time. Go hit R to scale that extrusion down, somewhere about here little bit more and then hit G go to the move tool and move the extrusion in somewhere about here or here like that and then hit uh, G do that one more time hit G do it one more time right under it and then hit G in scale Hit G again and bring this guy out to a point where it comes, you know, it comes out here, somewhere about here. And then hit a G and the move tool, move it out here. And again, hit G, scale it in. Another time G to repeat the extrusion. Bring it in here, G, move it in, G, move it in, and then hit G again, so, um, and scale that into a point somewhere about here. Hit G again and move this guy out. Okay. So maybe we bring it out a little bit more, somewhere about here. I'm only eyeballing it, so hit a G and scale that down. And hit G to repeat that again and scale that in. Somewhere about here. So now let's um, select the object, hit a 3 to check that out. Okay. So. Okay, I can. I think I can live with uh, with that result. So let's uh, finally go in here and uh, tweak uh, the inside part here. So we move it a little bit out of the way, and let's insert an edge loop here, and let's insert one here, and then we select the uh, paint to select tool, the face mode. Um, select all of those here. That that whole cap and then hit uh, extrude, scale it down, and then somewhere about here, and then hit G, extrude this uh, this direction, and then I hit delete to delete the, all the faces, and then I'm inserting one edge loop here, one there, and uh, yeah, now if you smooth that guy, it should be it. So we move it back into its position somewhere where it doesn't intersect with the main case, but it comes close to that. Somewhere. Okay, that was a little bit too much. Somewhere about here. Okay, so now we get the one uh, smaller knob done. And we will take that guy and copy that over. But uh, again, I'm getting to the 10 minutes limit here. So let me pause the video and we'll go on in the next one.